Hey guys, we're back with our old friend Bob Holmes, and as you know, he's an award-winning travel photographer. Well, during his time as a National Geographic photographer, Bob traveled for weeks at a time from one photo shoot to the next all over the world. And today he shows you what's inside his camera bag, plus some of the do's and don'ts of travel photography. Can we take a look at your specific gear that you use? Yeah. Uh, I, I, I have two, two ways of carrying stuff. Do you mind passing that, Mark? On the plane, I carry this Our as hands hand. from Think Tank, I see. Yep, I use all my bags of Think Tank. Awesome. Um, I love them because love them, yeah. they're designed by photographers. You know, it's, and it really shows. But it's great gear. I, I love it. It is. So this, this is the kit that I carry with me on the plane. This never leaves me. And in this, I, I put a, a laptop in here. I have uh -huh. a MacBook that goes in here. This, this, here it is. Yeah. Um, this and I have. A, oh, that's awesome! Look a, at that. A couple of Nikon's, a D810, with a lens that. And in fact, this setup is the one that I use a lot of the time now. Twenty four seventy. No, oh. twenty eight to three hundred. Okay. Wow. And that was a tip from Jay Maisel. Yeah, Jay's using this mm. most of the time. And uh, yeah, I learned to use this from him uh, because that covers it's, everything. it's remarkably sharp. Yeah, With, it's not as good as a good prime lens, but it's good. Mm -hmm. And I, it's made me very lazy. Uh, so that's that's my normal setup. Okay, I carry that. I've got a, a D4 with a, that happens to have a 105 macro on it, and then I have. A couple of wide zooms, uh, 24 to 72.8. Mm -hmm. I cleaning cloths, blowers. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Here's the, there's a wide zoom, 17 to 35. Flash gun tucked away under oh, there. Oh yeah, there it is. That, as so I said, I rarely, rarely, rarely use. And that's about it. But I also carry. What's this? A little hard drive. Oh yeah. I carry two of these. And these, I was in Costco last week. You can get them this size now to four terabytes. I know, it's amazing. For $125. Four terabytes. It's Memory is so cheap. Amazing. And this really is very, very important because if you lose your digital files, you've you're lost everything. You're screwed. Yeah, you're absolutely screwed. Yeah. Yeah. So back up everything at least twice. And that's about it. And this is what a you little carry. Little tank bag oh, yeah. with Got those. memory cards. Awesome. Notebooks. This is an amazingly compact kit. Yeah, this this never leaves me. Yeah. Never check. Never never check oh, no. your equipment. But this is what I, I use continually. And then the small in the field. This bag I carry with me usually over my shoulder because it's it's pretty small. They don't mind me carrying, most airlines will let you carry two bags like mm -hmm. this. And in this, I, every day this is what I go out with. And in it I have spare batteries, spare memory cards, a D810 body, and a couple of lenses. Usually the 28 to 300 and a fast wide lens. Yeah. The 25, the 17 to 25. 17 to 35 usually. And there's so much and room. That's it. And you can put that's your snacks in here, as yep. you were saying. And I also have the got other them. thing that is really important about travel is wearing the right clothes. You know, I, I always wear Gucci personally. But. <laughs> of course. <laughs> so this is all appropriate to getting in the zone, keeping it simple, right? So yeah. you're not encumbered by a lot of other stuff. You can go out and really Put your attention on what you're there for, yep. which is photographing. Yeah, that's the important thing. Awesome. One other thing, incidentally, in connection with baggage, is try and get flights that are direct. Don't get flights that right. where you have stop, particularly stopovers. Try and get direct, non-stop flights if you can, because luggage can get lost. Mm -hmm. And never let go of your bags. Absolutely. But that's the only time I've ever done it. Never it again. Bob, anything you want to leave your audience um, with as far as a final tip on travel? Make sure you have IDs on the outside of your bags, particularly check bags. Sure. Big, significant IDs, so if they are lost, people know where to find you. 
because things very rarely disappear completely. Yeah. Okay. Hey, thanks and again, Bob. Happy traveling. Bob, I'm going to fire some things at you. Just tell me what you think of. Okay. <laughs> if it's extra, we'll blow it up. Oh, this is dangerous. What inspires you as far as photography? The end results ultimately inspire me to go and do better. What places do you love to shoot? Asia. Brilliant. And what's your favorite camera and lens? The old cliche, the one that I have. Good. It doesn't matter. What is the photographer that you have learned the most from? Bill Brandt. Is there a single image that stands out in your mind of yours that's your favorite photograph? Oh, there are so many. <laughs> <laughs> One of my favorites was destroyed by the digital revolution. I took a photograph in, in Israel at the Western Wall that I'd preconceived and it happened with a group of Hasidics with their backs to the camera and a little boy appearing in the middle of this sea of little boys. And it was entirely preconceived. I knew what I wanted and it happened. But now it looks as though it's done digitally. So it's, sort of, it's destroyed the impact of the photograph. But at the time, I just couldn't believe I'd managed to achieve it. Well, actually, it doesn't, yeah, okay, cool. So I wanna thank you guys for, are we rolling? Yeah, we're rolling. <laughs> I've been rolling. Let's do it. Does that mean we're rolling? Okay, I want to thank you guys for watching and be sure to subscribe. We want you to like if you like our video, of course. You can comment down here and also please share these with other people because we want to bring Bob Holmes to as many photographers as we can. And if you would, support us with Patreon. We're funding this whole series ourselves, so your contributions will really help us bring more great content to you guys. And Bob, you have a workshop you'd like to mention. I've been running international workshops for several years, and you can find information at Lumaria, L-U-M-A-R-I-A, workshops.com. And also, I'm a regular poster on Instagram, and give regular photography tips, and my Instagram address is Bob Holmes Photo. So hopefully I'll meet you there too. Thank you. Brilliant. Thank you guys.